Okay, we have the Dell 11Z Inspiron model here, uh, taken apart. Uh, see, uh, black plastic uh, frame for the uh, uh, LCD display, and uh, here is the exposed display. Uh, this is the replacement that I got uh, online. Uh, comes a nice little uh, uh, protective uh, package here. And there is the uh, face of it under there. Uh, You'll notice that it has a couple of, of uh, ports there that have to plug in. And we have the uh, cracked screen. Probably can't see that mine is nice and cracked, but uh, uh, we have a couple more screws to undo before we can uh, uh, take it out. So. Um, to get to this thing, you have to take a flat screwdriver and pry this bezel off. Uh, I went through the, uh, the task of pulling everything apart because I didn't know uh, before I did this uh, that you didn't need to take the keyboard and all this apart, but uh, you can and it's kind of interesting to see in there. So uh, your small uh, Phillips screwdriver is going to uh, take apart the, uh, the screws in the main compartment there. Uh, it's also going to access the screws that hold on the screen here. So I'm pulling these off. Uh, I also used a flathead screwdriver, just run of the mill, uh, to pry the bezel off. And uh, that worked out pretty well. You could maybe do it with your fingernails if you uh, have long enough ones. Uh, just removing the last four screws here of the, uh, of the screen. And uh, add the screws to my pile of screws over here. Okay, so we have little side pieces here that uh, uh, here's the hinge assembly on this side and I've removed two screws on this side and two screws on the other side um, and uh, we uh, take those nice pieces off and the screen lifts up like that this is the back uh, or outer case of the laptop and we've got a plug here on the hinge side that I'm going to unplug. Now looks like there's a piece of tape that also holds us on so you're going to probably want to peel that back and uh, since my screen is toast I'm not too concerned with messing with it, but uh, uh, there you go, screen is off, and uh, I'm going to take the replacement here, and pull the protective covering off, just like that. As you can see, these look a little different. They might be different lots or different manufacturer or something, but um, but they both have the same nice little port there that's out of focus, but you can probably figure it out if you've got your laptop. Um, so I'm going to plug this one right into there, and uh, we'll be able to reassemble. I'm going to stick this tape back onto the uh, new screen just because I can. Uh, I guess if you're going to get really uh, particular about this you might put new tape on there but it seems to have a lot of sticky left so 
to reuse. And uh, so then we just have to uh, take these uh, nice little side bezels and uh, reattach sort of in the same manner that they were. There we go. So a little tricky to line those up, but uh, seems to work okay. Now you notice that you're not actually screwing into the screen itself, but uh, it's held in at four points by the screws that uh, screw this sidebar into the back of the, the laptop case itself. And uh, just like that. The rest of this part isn't going to be all that interesting, but uh, we'll go through it uh, quickly for your amusement.